forward. Mm -hmm. So we appreciate everything you've done. It's been a hard week, but at the uh, you know conclusion, it, it it it'll be a good week and mm -hmm. it'll leave you in a good place moving forward. You'll yep. have a lot of info. You'll be in good standing, and you right. will have done what you wanted to do. So right. I am really really happy to hear that mm -hmm. because I thought that. Honestly, last night and all the drama that ensued, I felt because of me. Danielle's crying because mm -hmm. of the whole Nick thing. Nick's out here yelling at me. Mm -hmm. You know, Amber's crying, and I'm like, I felt like that was such a major faux pas. Why is Nick part. yelling at you? I missed that. What happened with that? Because he's like flipping out about everything. Now that I'm out, and you know, all of this shit's going on, and you know, I put him on the spot with Danielle, and I told him flat out, and I'm like, this motherfucker. If you're mm -hmm. fucking using her, and I find mm -hmm. out afterward, you're not only gonna have problems in here, but you're gonna have problems out mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. You know, this is this is her life, and mm -hmm. she's not gonna be the next fucking Erica. Mm -hmm. So. <clears throat> so he, in turn, had words for you, and that was that. Well, I said that before, and that's when he's like, you know, you know, I'm telling you this as a man, and then and then and someone talked to him about some of the things I was saying, like the, like I was saying the night before. That I thought that him, Zach, and Jen were an alliance. I said it a bunch of times. And I said, I'm still, remember? I said, I'm still really worried about him using Danielle. And those are the two things that he kept pointing out. Who over was and over out and over here that night? Me, Eric. Was that the night with Amber and Dustin? Yeah, yeah yes. Right. And Jessica. Well, I'm going to tell you, it ain't three. I don't know. It ain't who? It ain't three. I don't, it, three? me, Jess, or Eric. Yeah, and it wasn't me. You don't think that Dustin might be saying stuff? I think he might. Do you? They seem to be buddy buddy a lot of time on the, the mm -hmm. lawn chairs mm -hmm. together and a lot of Amber is like see, I suspect Amber because Dustin look at how mad at me he got when I went up to you on your birthday mm -hmm. and said <clears throat> I heard that you're upset because every, everybody else Mm -hmm. He feels unfair that everybody else didn't get it. And I guess you said that to him, but mm -hmm. he didn't tell me, you know, don't tell her anything. Mm -hmm. And I was just trying to comfort you a bit. And he, look how mad he did. He got, Dick, I want to talk to you right now. You know, I know, like, but that's my point. But I think that he's a little bit more closed-lipped than Amber. I disagree. Amber. I think really? as long as you, listen, the proof is right there. You went and said something that he told you, which means that he's outed. That's why he's upset. It's not because you came to me. It's because yeah, it's it was only one yourself. person yeah. that knew that where I was in that state of mind, and you out of them. The obvious person that everybody think about that. The obvious person everybody's going to think is probably Nick Things is going to be Amber, and that's probably not the case. Is all I'm saying. Everybody's going to think it's Amber, and it's probably not. Wow, I could that's see really it. Good point. I could see it both ways for sure. They certainly are the most likely suspects. I mean, being that I've spoken a total of 10 total seconds to Nick in the whole house, I think it's safe to say it's mm -hmm. not me. Mm -hmm. One of the things about Amber is that she gets so emotionally involved with even a conversation that she says things without thinking about what the fuck she's saying. Mm, all the more easy of a target for everybody to believe that it would be her. Well, you know what? A lot of these th issues, though, they're easily remedied if you take out the person that you think they might be close with or they might be assisting, it's not an issue anymore. Nick. If Nick goes home, Nick, Nick is clearly more of a threat than Amber. We all feel much, much closer to Amber than mm -hmm. we do to Nick. So if you send Nick home, then no one needs to worry about you know who's what? talking to Nick anymore. Right. Right. Nick's totally, not here. completely 100% mm -hmm. right. Yeah. It's who cares who's, who he's talking to. He can be talking to his ex-girlfriend on his phone, cell phone from back in Minnesota. Right, right. Right. How do you think Danielle will hang, handle it? The week of it poorly and afterwards perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I agree. The week of though could be a problem. I'm sorry, I'm being very selfish here, but it could be a big problem you know, for me. As a matter of fact. But I think that that will make Danielle stronger in this group. Well, another thing, just for argument's sake, now, I understand you don't want to go around putting people in danger, but let's say we were to lose HOH. Um, instead of assuming that you're the automatic target, we can try and campaign for them to put up Nick and Danielle and say, hey, it makes us uneasy too. They're very close. He's wheeling and dealing with both sides. 
let's put the two of them up and break them up.